President Muhammadu Buhari of Nigeria has received the Director General of the World Trade Organization, WTO, Dr. Ngosi Okonjo Iweala at the State House in Abuja. Okonjo Iweala, the country's former Minister of Finance, is on her first official visit for five days and comes weeks after she became the first woman elected as the WTO DG. She was welcomed at the presidential villa by the Minister of Trade and Investment, Otumbani Adebayo, Minister of State for Trade and Investment, Ambassador Mariam Katagum, and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Godfrey Onyema. Speaking to journalists at the State House, Mrs. Ngosi Okonjo Iweala said the purpose of her visit was to see how the WTO could better assist Nigeria and her entrepreneurs on improving the economy. I have come here to also discuss with Mr. President what the WTO can do to work with Nigeria to improve our economy and our economic situation. And we talked about a number of issues. First of all, Nigeria is a large market in and of itself, 200 million people. But we also now have the African Continental Free Trade Agreement which makes a market of 1.3 billion people on the continent. And there's a unique opportunity for Nigeria to improve its standing in trade. Currently, we're 0.3% of world trade, 19% of Africa's trade. And in logistics, we rank 103 out of 167. But what does this say to us? It says that we have a great opportunity to improve our situation and to uh, improve our economy through trade. And that is really important. So we talked about issues in agriculture, how we can add value to our ag agricultural products. You can trade more if you produce more and add more value. Let's not export our jobs to the outside. So these were the issues we have in, in agriculture. I just gave Mr. President the example of shea butter and sesame seed. Nigeria is one of the largest producers in the world, and you know these are used for cosmetics. So the WTO, together with the International Trade Center, came here to, to work with women and men in a cooperative, if fed up or, uh, or a cooperative in Shaki, in Oyo State, to try to improve the quality of their product. We were producing this, but we could not access the US or European market because the quality of our product was not good enough. But by working with the WTO, they were able to improve the quality of the shea butter that was being produced, for example. We get a NAFDAQ approval and registration, which also opened the door for them to be able to export some of these products, sell domestically to cosmetics manufacturers, but also export. This is the kind of thing that WTO can do, working with the ordinary man and woman in order to improve their standard of living and increase their incomes. She also spoke on many issues concerning Nigeria and her new office, WTO. Earlier, the Director General visited her former office where she served as the minister. She appreciated the Nigerian government for clearing its arrears and paying for its subscription to the WTO membership for the years ahead. Now I want to end with a very big thank you on something that you did, Honorable Minister, and that is you cleared Nigeria's arrears to the World Trade Organization. And that really, I want to thank you, thank uh, Mr. President, the Chief of Staff, for focusing on this. This really made us uh, proud because, you know, to feel the candidate when you have arrears, it's not a, uh, but the Honorable Minister and the team worked so hard and I want to share with you, they not only cleared their arrears for 2019, they paid for 2020 and put an advance yes. against, uh, paid for 2020, 2021. And now we're a little bit ahead because they advanced some money for 2022. Yeah. So, Dr. Mrs. Ngosi okonjo Iweala is the first woman and first African to lead the international body. She's a Nigerian-American economist and international development expert who has a 25-year career at the World Bank, scaling the ranks to the second top position of managing director operations. 
She also served two terms as the Minister of Finance under former President of Nigeria, Olusegun Obasanjo and Goodluck Jonathan in respective order. Kamil Sadiq reporting for CBA TV, Nigeria.